Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we can see our program, we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with this news. I'm going to bring you Suze, don't come and say when they talk about the match we asked not play yesterday. You know, say we play 3-3. So, my back on the top say, it is not over until it is over. See, we we'll still go for Man City. Go collect the results so we need because nothing is over. As they like this, if you need to be champions, get for this league, then we can go to the Etihad and get the results. Because to win the league, you know, they're very, very easy. They're very, very tough. Then with the words on marble, it gets when they, they give like a morale booster. They tell the boys, say, you never finish, you'll see like six matches to go. Game still plenty, you get so anything can happen. We could not no fear, you get nothing is up. Until based on the experience now, fighting for the title, so you let us know, say, until the last day, you get so you never day over. So, all oh, just the watch with that one will come to pass. Now, I'm going to look the match of players today. So, Asta played 3 3 against Southampton for the MLS season. In short, uh, after we just do the pre-match analysis, I just say, okay, make I just arrange some kind of things for the studio ahead of our halftime uh, break before I go check what we play. Oh no, as I just check, I don't see one O already. I, I even missed the goal. I don't know how they take score and, and the games, they don't come show the highlight again. Now when I come into halftime analysis, they call the level and say, okay, when I rounds they do mistake. Now like this morning I come on like go to just check the highlights. They're gonna see yeah. So you see the mistake with the guy, like how could you do that kind of thing? Yes. So we started on the back foot. At the end of the day, we see collect 2-0 again. We see score my Marcelia post score one. The more they find 2-2, one will chop 3-1. He shot at 3-1. I already gave up. I say, ah, oh, man, you don't finish yet. So we got run to Trossard already. So for my mind, who remain again? One put one point change the game. You don't finish your before you can know what the happened, we scored two goals in two minutes. Only got knock one, Saka knock one, it's going to be 3-3. Now at 3-3, we were just unlucky on the night and Gabriel Jesus, oh my god. Gabriel Jesus was missing chances after chances. Now, it's just that at the end of the day, he ended 3-3. So I could see many, many comments. Ah, Satyubs, I'm not going to understand why he talks here with no get striker. This one, that one. So we will say Gabriel Jesus no, will be our striker again for next season. And just the smile because all these things were things I've already seen in far long time ago. See, this our Gabriel Jesus is good though, in his own right, it's good, but he's not the clinical striker we need to take us to the promised land. He's not the prolific striker he gets. That you know, get a goal instinct, that that predator instinct, the way where the Alan get them, when the para, you know, they take icy post. The Real Jesus know the striker we will score with 35 goals. But how many goals Alan not score this season? Or score 40 goals in the calendar season? No, 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 no. You know, you know it's not built that way. So it's just the difference. Now, I see some people they argue say why they always compare us now to Man City. No, now that they make mistake. I know they compare us together. The difference between comparing yourself to somebody and aspiring to be that person. Because why they always use Man City as my reference points? Now because now them will won't be like, now them will not emulate. In case you don't even know, they are the ones who are emulating with our style of play. In case you don't know, you get the kind of tactics what they do now, what they do like they play. If in general they and everybody they if they attack, we use similar formation with them. We use three, two, four, one. In case you don't know, now our shape will be that. That is why people like Kevin Dobrin will talk say when you look at the way as they play, it's no different from the way them they play. Because Antonio yourself said the same thing, say if the Kadia star players now wear the mask t shirts, you know, we feel make the difference because they are playing the same type of way. So we are emulating them because they won four league titles in the last five seasons. Why you not go emulate them? You know, the first way you go to emulate when they compete with them. So the difference between comparing yourself with them, that one are competition. When you are comparing, when they compete, then emulation, like they aspire, you won't be like them. So that's the major difference. So I just ask all of us, we don't drop, so we don't draw. I know a lot of people are still angry, but when I calm down, they get so most of the watch at the end of the season. If we still win up by God's grace, fine. If we don't win up, fine. And like as everybody don't they realize, say you get some players who they ask and when we need to be here next season. I concur with that. And I believe say when I said concur, all of us be on the same page. For that one, so next season, by the grace of God, Kroenke will give them money because Kroenke don't need drop money now. He will give them money, make them sign better players who will always play next season. And when that happens, all these guys had breaks will they get. I don't think it will be happening in the game because we will get some kind players. Imagine having another player who will be like Martinelli, like having two Martinelli's in your team. 
Imagine having two Bukayo Saka, you know, they happy. Imagine having a player with the better than Gabriel Jesus, you know, they happy. These are the things I'm talking about. You imagine having another player with the better than Thomas Pate. You get Thomas Pate shouldn't be the, the, the ultimate. We should have somebody else better. You get that's what I'm talking about. So, we'll just watch. All right, away from that, so when we talk, say Arsenal will need something miraculous to win the title. Now, Gary Neville, they talk that one against. And that's something miraculous. Now, it starts from getting the results at the Etihad Stadium. Once you get the results there, then remember, so we we'll get some kind of tough matches. But we just be using the toughest game so far we will play from now to the end of the season. And that man so if we can get a positive result there. And who says we can all uh, perform well against so Because as they like this now, officially, we'll never qualify for Champions League. Because we're supposed to have three points we need to qualify. Now, we don't get one, remember, two more points. We'll beat one more team or draw two more matches. We don't officially qualify to get to two fine. And come again, then any other thing like I have always the talk, try Jara. All right, Moses Casaido said, Don't come and say, I can't talk. Say, so in really almost join Arsenal, like really, really, you remain small for join Arsenal, but you know, can't work. And the first time the guy will come and say, I can't explain what's in really soft between him and Arsenal and Tony Blue, maybe like the chairman and the president of Brighton. So, back on talk, say, with Arsenal already discussed, like he was sat there and said, Okay, well, I want to join. You know, Arsenal already offered 70 million. Yes, yeah, so he was expecting people like Tony Blue to accept that because him like the way Arsenal they play their young crop of players doing great things and he won't join them, become part of those great things where they do, yes, becoming the new set of Arsenal invincibles. Yes, I would say he won't join them for but unfortunately Tony Bloom no accept because Tony Bloom and deserve will be their coach. If you say even if they don't sell them, get no before January, because themselves they fight for European places. As Brighton did that their ambition this season is to go for maybe Europa League or what's worse, go for UEFA Europa Conference League, because they don't think go for Champions League. So that means their own plan. So they feel say they sell Casado to Arsenal, it go weaken them immensely because who they will come put for the middle of their pack will come and do the dirty jobs with Casado do. Casado does not score goals, they not give you assists. But you see that marking, that's stealing the ball, you get defending the back four, covering them. Now in duty with that, that machine in B, you run from beginning to the end. That's why people are like, frank with the same old side can say, you so that they are going to do a dirty job for us because party, I don't understand. I don't think that the fasting, now they affect party. Even though Ramadan don't start, people will do it in Mubarak yesterday, so Ramadan don't end, so I don't understand party. Maybe never still get in system because I know say you know they easy that fasting you know, obviously will take away some fluids from your body but it is what it is guess so that's why we clamor so we need that guy so the guy can talk say well you don't fortunately say you know join us even though they want to support Arsenal to win the league title but let's just see how it goes at the end of the season whether Arsenal will go back to the guy deal and everybody you know let's just keep watching Alright, so Sky Sports, come come and let us know say Arsenal don't hold talks with Mr. To sign Mr. Mount. Yeah, I think it's Mr. Mount representatives that in the whole talks with. I know Sky Sports, they drop this news. In fact, Gold of Gone also published this same story that Arsenal are really interested in signing Mr. Mount. Liverpool, on the other hand, I guess Liverpool want to throw away like 8 or 10 first team players. Chelsea want to throw away like it's first team players again because Chelsea signed a lot of players. In short, now let's see that for the year a report from Chelsea say Chelsea got to build a new dressing room again. Build a new place with players we say, because they don't get players, they don't give so much because we need to portion some people and Mr. Mount might be one of the casualties who will leave that place. Nobody, like I always talk, Chelsea will be like short price at the end of the season. People will go there with the select players and ask and set down the select. And I guess we won't go for Carlson or Doy. You get Carlson or Doy, I would be in his head. Say we won't go Carlo Hudson or Doyle, so we won't go for that one also. Well, it is what it is. Anyhow, we be Mr. Mount now, we'll play our sign up. Great, and if you get somebody like Mr. Mount on your bench, I'm very happy small. I say, okay, yes, at least you see, it's an upgrade to what we have. So, this is what it is. All right, so this one I'm not talking about, like a warning it gets to many of our community members because I noticed this trend. I just observed it that this is what happens anytime we will drop points. Nobody will lose all. Anytime we will draw, it gets a lot of people start posting foul language. F this, F that, stupid idiots. No, many, many words we know they okay because now they focus on social media with this, get this thing, we're not supposed to use this language. That means they will be penalized, it gets because when the foul language can be so much, it gets. I mean, uh, Facebook will come penalize or YouTube will come penalize me, like say it don't do too much. Even sometimes, if you watch our own in house presenters, 
they do mistake accidentally use the F word, I will let them know say, or my men are reduced on an F word language because at the end of the day, you know they will put for TV. You get so all those kinds. So as we they do the mistake in house, people say they do an out house. You get so make everybody make sure say they know they do all this thing again. You know make sense. You can still express yourself without using foul language. You get. How many times another year me use F word? Yes. But I will still express myself very well. You will understand me. You will be clear. So I don't see nobody they perfect. So. When I dial down the tempo of effort. And another thing is for the comment section, I see where people will people they argue something. Maybe somebody make an opinion about maybe Grand Shaka, and that person can give a counter opinion. But when you want to give a counter opinion, you're going to insult the person. What's it they do now for? It shows childishness. Like it shows you are not emotionally stable to make an argument. You don't need to argue to win, you argue to learn. So in the process of arguing to learn, you don't need to insult the person with the argument. That's what me I'm against. So we could just dial down all these things. And they talk that if I say I'm again, I think come on the better community because it shows you are not emotionally stable to be here. Argue, argue. and if I talk something you don't like, argue with me again. But when you come talk to the insult me, and that one you come and shame me and insult anybody. You know they see how they get heated arguments for the studio. I mean that I don't insult Baba Sato or insult Oga Joker or insult Oga Magnus or Oga Lexi or anybody who they argue with. So we are just arguing for academic purpose, I beg. Nobody's perfect, but they all dial down everything, eh? God bless you. Alright, at that time, don't come outside on the talk to the players need to clear their heads and focus on City. You get because Mass is 90 for our sites now. You get. I think it will be on Wednesday who will go for the Etihad. We'll see how will they deal with Mass. So that's going to be very, very important. A very, very strong match. So I don't want to know how it will be. But people like uh, Jamie Carrick, I can come outside, call the advice at the time. You see this match that I go play for Etihad. Don't go there and focus on your sights on winning Man City at the Etihad. You'll be shooting yourself on the foot, guys. Go there, even if you can get a draw, don't set up to win. Go there, go get draw. Leave 20 people they talk. It's will be better you go there and defend and get your draw than to go there and attack and lose, guys. Because if we lose there, according to Canada, it is over, you get. Nothing won't talk again, it's over, you get. But if you have a draw, you stand a fighting chance, you see I lost their life. To move on and continue competing, you get for the title. So now we take Karaga the advice because Ateta, because we always say Ateta, they always believe that philosophy. We say the best form of defense is attack. So we won't go the go attack because I don't think there's been any game this season where we set up defensively. We've always been on the forefront, we want to go and attack. You get so I don't know what to think about this Karaga advice and they give Ateta say go there don't go and say you want to win don't play to win there because playing to win with to put yourself in the hands of masses where they will give you bad 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 before you know masses don't be all this chef don't be all this uh, sometimes they say they will score to you before you realize you if they give it to you before you know you don't turn for two don't turn for sharp sharp then you waste time so let's just see how everything turns out um, at the same time, I thought I want to explain why people like Grand can miss the match. Okay, so we make Fabi Vera come play and Fabi Vera had a very, very bad game, I must be honest. So Baba Fabi say Shaka gets injured, mm, illness. He was sick. Because the morning of the game, he was sick, so they don't get any choice. They got sideline and competing Fabi Vera. And I believe why they talk about squad depth. If we had a better player, the show will put Fabi Vera. No, but we'll have to manage what we have, which I understand, I can sympathize. That's why I only sympathize with Ateta because he never really gets the tools when he needs to do your work. Yes, so it is what it is. I'm happy with what they've done so far. If you don't get one picture, why they say they probably compare this our season with the season of the Invincibles, the difference is just one point. I think the Invincibles got 75 points at this point, and we will gotten 74 after 31 games. I mean, after 30, how many games? 31 games, I think, or 32 games. The same games we don't play now, and they just one point. Let it take past us. We are doing well, but just that Man City have set the standard so high. We'll be saying if you want to win the league, you need to amass a lot of points. Even if I can't check 2015, 2016 season, when Leicester win the league, Leicester won the league with 81 points. At the stage of the at the end of the season, we can still amass 81 points, but we know win the league. <laughs> is this a standard? No, no balance to get to. So it is what it is. Man City don't raise the bar so high. If you won't win the league, oh man, you don't win them since you get now self, no man, no man to qualify for Champions League, 74 points would have given you a qualification, sure. But this time around, we never qualify like this. So we are still looking at winning our next match or drawing two more matches before we get guaranteed spots. So, okay, next season they will sing Champions League anthem for the Emirates. So this is what it is.
I'm away from that, so I think I'm going to blame individual errors for that South Hampton game. So, Baba Kalito said, What would they defend? So, we're supposed to defend like that. Like, we gave away cheap goals and individual errors, it cost us. And that's why I let us say, Nobody ever thinks you're going to blame Ateta. Like, I saw some people blaming Ateta. She's not Ateta 10 rounds, they make you do that mistake. Pain. Part itself cost us in the middle of the park before they can rise from Cardiboard, uh, square play, giving play away boss net. Look at this one again now. Eh? Look how it's Ramsey do. I don't even see I'm in real time because I was busy doing something else. Then if I can check, I say, ah, wait here. <laughs> so it's just the unfortunate how these people they suffer us. Like I post for Facebook yesterday. I say the, the team we love has let us down again. Once again, the team we love has let us down. Make everybody take hearts because that's just the way we myself. I didn't pain. I didn't feel that, but I just know how to hide my own pain, manage myself. Because so I don't say a lot of people don't know how to like, manage their own pain. So, but it is what it is. I don't say it will get better moving forward. Not just uh, support the team and see how this season will end. So, my dear Aston Lovers, if you know what this show, check the top left corner of your screen. You will see the thumbnail. Click and subscribe and get all Arsenal up, uh, updates as they drop all over the world. So, start to sign it out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Game out.